So just 13 in a row at the end, we're now in this win streak. Just sort of how does it feel to have things clicking like they are? It feels really good. I, I think they're just very aware of what they need to do individually as a team. Um, they're playing really well. They l love playing together. Um, I just think they're just in a really good place. They've been in a good place for a little while now. Last year, April was a month where you guys went four and eleven. This year, you went fifteen and one in the month of April. On a year-to-year -year difference, what sort of creates that separation from last year to this season? Uh, honestly, I don't even know. I mean, I just, I just know that this team uh, right now they're they're all playing really well together. Um, they're in a really good place. Um, I, I, I couldn't really tell you the difference. With Kai sort of being inserted into the lineup at the beginning of this month, it is it sort of she gets in there, it lengthens the lineup, and it makes things easier for everyone else? Or is it that she just got in, and it just so happened she got in when everyone else w was just hitting their stride at the right time? I think, you know, obviously getting her in the lineup and what she's done for us this past month has been awesome. And I think these guys have been just working all – all um, season to just you think about where you start in the beginning of the year, where you are in the middle, where are you at the end? And I think they've just done a lot of growing as a team and are just in a good spot. So I think with the addition of her, it has definitely made a difference and lengthen our lineup, but then also to them just getting to where they are now as a team. You guys only added, I mean, you added some new players, but only one freshman, but it come, but it seems like the sum of the parts are greater than the individual pieces, if that kind of makes sense. Like this team is really, really cohesive. They're really, really strong. They complement each other so well. Individual pieces, you've, you've had strong pieces before, but this seems like the most cohesive complementary group. Did, would you agree with that assessment or what, what are your opinions on that? Yeah, I, I think they really like to play with each other and for each other. I, I think that's a huge part of why they're doing the things that they're doing right now. I think at the beginning of the year, they talked a lot about having a why. Like, why Why do you play? What's your why? And early in the year, I think some of their whys were different and maybe not the same. And I think their why is the same. So they all have one purpose playing for one thing. When you talk about the, the sharing of whys, it's been a big theme over, over the year. Was that something that you wanted the players to share with each other? Was that something that they kind of did naturally on their own? Yeah, I think it's important for, you know, we're going to go on this journey. We need to understand why we're going on it and who we're going with. And in order to do that, we need to understand each other's why and understand what the why would be for the team. So we, we have a lot of conversations. We've always had tons of conversations as a group. You know, there's a lot of preparation that you do on the field, but there's so much preparation that you do off the field as well. And uh, we've just had a lot of conversations this year of, you know, what it is that we want and how we're going to go about it and how we're going to do it together. When you came into the program five years ago, you, you obviously had a vision. You had an expectation, like, what I want to create. How does this program five years later kind of, how does that vision, looking back, how has it come to fruition? Sure. It's um, definitely how to vision. I think coming in, my, my vision has never changed. Just the journey and the road is obviously different. Uh, but just to see the first group and the fact that they're going to be graduating this year and what they've done from version one to version five, it's, it's been awesome to watch. They've done it and they've done it pretty quick. So um, I'm thankful for version one and just their leadership on and off the field and what they've done for this team and for this program. Are there any sort of aspects of that vision that you'd be willing to share just moving forward for what you wanted to accomplish coming in, what sort of you have accomplished and what you still want to accomplish? Um, yeah, I think there's plenty to accomplish. You know, the, the biggest thing for us this year is to go further than we've ever gone. That's that's it. Um, it's can we go further than what we've ever gone? Can we and what do we need to do? How do we need to get there? And I think the, the how is what you're seeing on the field right now and, and what they're doing together um, on offense, defense, on the mound. They're just really clicking and are in a good place. And I think for the most part, we just keep things very simple. We don't get too heavy with things. It's just about just understanding what that why is and how to go about it and, and to continue. Kind of, I don't want to under, undersell what, you know, the, on the field, like you said, but what you've done behind the scenes, off the field, is probably as much or more. I mean, someone like Caitlin talking to her, 
she came in last year and you know was like not sure if she was going to come back and you know she was really wanting back and how integral that is. I mean that's a big component and that speaks to the coaching staff and kind of that vision and knowing mm -hmm. who the right people are. And you guys have done a really great job at bringing in the right pieces to kind of fill the the holes that are created. Is that part of that vision or is that just you kind of find the pieces and like okay I'm going to try this and, and see if that works or you kind of have an expectation when you go into it. Um. I think the expectations and playing at a high level and winning a Pac-12 championship, winning a national championship, you know, that's all. Everybody wants to do that. Um, I think it's important that you have the right people, for sure. And I think that's the side that you could see that we've worked on really hard on this year is just really having the right people and understanding how to work together and understanding each other on a deeper level. You know, as a, anytime you have a team, you can be on a surface level or you can be on a deeper level. And I feel like this group is on a much deeper level with each other and it just shows when they play. When you talk about that connection, senior day coming up on Sunday, for you as a coach with this much connection as a team, whether it be the player's reaction to senior day or your own reaction to senior day, how do you feel like that day with version one now going and graduating is going to resonate with you? It's it's a bittersweet day. You know, obviously we have so much left to do. So, um, but it's just a bittersweet day because I think about when we all got here together and then now, you know, they'll be moving on to the next chapter of their lives. And I'm excited for them. I'm proud of them. They're ready to do that. Um, you know, you just want to hold on to them, but I also know that it's it's time to let them go as well. And I, I'm really looking forward to seeing what their next chapter looks like. How important is it for the fans to sort of be a part of that send off for mm -hmm. the seniors that are leaving, not only the version ones, but also the ones that came in along the way? I think it's really important. Our, our team, the one thing that they talk about is their love for the Jane and for our fans and how much they love to play at home and play in front of our fans. So for our fans to be, our fans are a huge part of, of who we are. And so for them to be a part of senior day is, is something that we want more than anything. I'll, I'll sort of go down e each one of them, just sort of what has Tara meant for this program in, in her time here to you? She, I've watched her come in and just grow as a leader and as a person and as a teammate and really have a good balance of life and, and softball. You know, softball does not define her. Softball does not define any of these guys. Um, but to really see her um, allow people to see the different sides of her. I think people always just see how tough she is on the field, but I get to see the softer side of her and I get to see the funny side of her and I get to see the caring side of her. And I think it's pretty cool. What about, what about for Allie? What does she mean to you? Allie, same thing. We, we absolutely threw her into the fire her freshman year and she had to figure it out and she wasn't ready to lead, but we needed her to lead. And, um, you know, she's she's an exceptional student and an athlete and to see her to be able, it's a lot to handle and to see her handle both. And then on top of that, be able to care as much as she does about this program and, and, to, and to lead the younger people under her. Um, I know she's gonna be an unbelievable CPA uh, one day and have her own business and just life will be good. But she's she's had quite a transformation. I, I don't know if when she came into this program if, if uh, people had any idea like what an unbelievable athlete she would be exiting it. What about for, for Kyla? She comes in mm -hmm. this year. Uh, what sort of impact has she had on the program in her year here? I just think of urgency, like Kyla, we get you for a year. So it's like, I want you to settle in. I want you to be a part of us quickly because it's gonna it's gonna fly by. And I think with um, her leadership, you know, and um, what she did at Duke and to be able to come in and settle in quickly and to connect with everybody on all different levels and to be a leader for us and, and to really um, be whatever it is that we need her to be. You know, whether it's it's her getting on base, you know, um, offensively or or hunting down balls in the outfield. Um, I love what she's done softball wise, but more importantly, just in the year that we've had that the time that we've had it with her to get to um, experience her as a person has, has been pretty cool. 
Carissa coming in mm-hmm. halfway through her career. She, she has this one career at UCF. She comes over, spends the last two years of her career here. What has what that meant for you for her to come into the program and what has she meant to it? Yeah, she's – Carissa, um, for her to have her last two years here – and same thing, just to the urgency of getting to know her and who she is. And she's a pretty cool cucumber, you know, like just cool. It's like she's cool. Like she doesn't get too high and she doesn't get too low, but she like is big and ready for big moments. And I really like that about her a lot. Um, I think she's funny. I, I don't think people would know how funny she is. And I think she gets really caught up into her teammates and um, and what we're doing and and um, wanting to do whatever we need from her um, every time she steps out on the field. So I, I'm excited to see what's next for her. And then for Kate, someone who comes mm-hmm. in, doesn't necessarily have the statistical production early, continues to work, comes through this season, her five years with you, what, what does that mean to this program? What does that mean to you? Uh, it's meant a lot. You know, um, she, again, just the transformation in the five years and watching her go from a, a young person into just an independent woman um, who is, uh, doesn't fear anything and is a great leader and she's a great teammate and she's caring and she wants to leave this program better than the way she found it. Um, the impact Kate has had on us is it's it's been really really big, and I'm I'm thankful for her, and I love seeing her excel in this final year and come in in big big moments, and ready to take on those challenges and come through for her teammates. It's not really being hyperbolic either to say that, but each of the seniors really have when the when the moment has called on them mm-hmm. to be their best, they have they've all reached reached those moments of pressure and, and really excelled this season. Is that just coincidence or is that you think just the character of the people or mm-hmm. combination of what this team is? Yeah, I think it's all of it. I think it's their character. I think it's their maturity. I, I think it's them looking like we are, I'm dealing with women, you know, I'm dealing with women. And that's what I think is pretty cool um, is just of who I'm dealing with and they understand how to conduct themselves. They understand what they need to do. You know, I'm not having to coach them up. They don't need to be coached up. You know, they're in a really, really good place and they want to finish their career on their, um, you know, um, their way. And I, I really like that and respect that. For this senior day in particular, does it mean a little more to you than, than years past just because with Kate and Allie and Tara, they've, been with you since you first got the job. They were with you with the downs, and, and now the program's in that up, upward trajectory. They've been with you that whole way. I, every senior day is special. Um, you know, this group has been with me the longest, obviously, but just every every uh, senior that has graduated and has been a part of these past five years have just been um, – just special, special people. Like they will always have a place in my heart and, you know, a a huge place in this program because, you know, you look in the past years and those were tough years and they could have easily said, this is too much. And they didn't. They said, we want to leave this place better than when we found it. And we're determined to do that. And we're determined to get us back to where we need to be. And so I'm thankful for their dedication and their passion for the program and, and their belief in, you know, just what they've done for us.